AT, MT, and RT. You've probably heard these acronyms before, and you may even know what they stand for. But what really makes a mud terrain a mud terrain? And how rugged terrains different from all terrains? In this video, we are going to look into these three tires and show you the differences between them. The names are somewhat self-explanatory, so you can probably guess what, may, what mud terrain tire and all-terrain tires are meant for and what they're meant to be used for, but today we're going to go deeper than that. We will be going over what these tires are meant for, the features of each tire, and why are they designed the way they are. All-terrain tires are sort of a jack-of-all-trades. They are good for on-road use and can usually hold their own when it comes to off-roading. All-terrain tires are also rated for winter driving, though some, such as the Toyo Open Country AT3, even have a three mountain peak snowflake rating, which is the highest winter performance rating a tire can receive. So, unless you are frequently finding yourself in a deep mud or similar terrain, these tires will get you through just about anything. All-terrain tires typically have larger tread blocks and smaller voids than mud terrain and rugged terrain tires. This leads to better on-road performance and less road noise. At the same time, this also means you won't get the same off-roading performance as those other tires. However, that's not to say that all terrain tires won't do well if you're off-roading. They just won't be able to make it through some of the extreme terrain that mud tires can. You may notice that the tread on these tires extends past the contact patch onto the shoulder of the tire. This is done on purpose to increase traction in off-road environments. Think of the tread on your tires as fingers. If you're trying to scoop up mud and move it out of the way, but your hands are full, you probably won't be able to make much progress. But if you had extra fingers on the side of your hand that would be able to scoop up way more mud and move it out of your way faster, this is exactly what the serrated shoulder does on these tires. When your tread is packed with mud or sand or clay, these lugs on the side provide that extra traction needed to keep moving when you're on the trails. This design is commonly found on tires designed to go off-road, but serrated shoulders on MT and RT tires are genuinely even more aggressive than those found on all terrains. Moving on to mud terrains, you can immediately see the difference between the two tires. MT tires have a much more aggressive tread pattern that is designed to do one thing and one thing only. Maximize traction in extreme off-road environments. While you can run mud tires on the street, they are quite a bit louder at highway speed. They do not last as long due to being made from softer compounds, digging into the turf to increase traction in almost every environment. MT tires also feature large voids in the tread that are designed specifically for evacuating mud, rocks, and other debris. The surface layer on these tires are also cut and puncture resistant to increase durability on trails. MT tires also do not perform as well in the winter as AT tires. Especially when driving on hard packed snow, the voids in the tread are not designed to handle winter conditions and end up getting packed with snow and ice, essentially turning them into slicks. The exception to this is that deep snow, if you can find yourself off-road in the winter or on an unplowed road, MT tires can actually perform well as the voids can throw out loose unpacked snow. Rugged terrain tires really take on the best of both worlds when it comes to off-road tires. They are quieter than mud terrains, often more traction than all terrains when off-roading, and the tread life falls somewhere between the two. Since every manufacturer makes their tires different, you end up having some RT tires that are very tame and have very similar functions or features to the AT tire, while others could also be considered an MT. Because they can vary so much, we are going to use the Nitto Ridge Grappler as an example since it doesn't lean too far in either direction. Looking at the Ridge Grappler, you can see elements of both a mud and all-terrain tire. You get the aggressive lugs extending onto the sidewall and large voids to dispense of debris on the trails, but you also get more rubber on the road than a traditional mud tire. This improves on-road performance and the siping not only improves traction in the winter conditions but also decreases the chance of hydroplaning. RT tires do a great job of performing similarly to mud terrain tires in conditions when you need the extra traction that all terrains just don't offer. And they do all this while behaving similarly to all terrains when on pavement. 
So with that being said, the perfect tire is going to vary greatly from person to person. For the average driver, an all-terrain is going to be a great choice. Although you can't really go wrong with a good rugged terrain tire either, and who doesn't love the aggressive look of a mud terrain, but at the end of the day, the choice is yours and you should pick something that suits your hobbies and lifestyles.